Hello, my name is Zach, and I like to backpack around the world. Good morning from Kennesaw, Georgia, right outside of Atlanta. I'm about to check out of this hotel and move on, keep cruising. The goal is to get to Louisville, Kentucky. I thought yesterday was Tuesday the entire day. I didn't realize yesterday was Wednesday until the next day I was looking at the calendar. It was like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. last night. Uh, and it said Thursday, which means yesterday was Wednesday. So I got kind of, uh, I kind of got my days mixed up, man. I'm kind of behind now because the concert is actually tomorrow. I have plenty of time to get to Valparaiso, Indiana, but still, I don't have as much time as I thought I did, so I need to go ahead and get it moving. I need to make it to at least Louisville, Kentucky today. If I can make it to Indianapolis, Indiana, that would be great, but I don't think I have that much time today before the sun goes down. But if I do, I'll make my way to Indianapolis. All right, uh, enough rambling. I am inviting you to join me to either Louisville, Kentucky or Indianapolis, Indiana. Shall you? Also, I think I have a problem with this tire. The uh, light came on for it. It's the same PSI as that tire over there, but it's, I don't know. It doesn't feel like there's anything wrong with it. So I don't know if I should just keep cruising or what. I think what I'll do is keep driving and if it keeps going down, then I'll start looking for a place to stop and get it fixed, the tire. But until then, I'll take my chances because it feels the same as the front tire. Would it be on if it was the same? Probably not, but. So I have stopped by this five-star eatery here in Adairsville, very local to Adairsville, a restaurant called Taco Bell. I've never heard of it. Just passed it by and I thought it sounded interesting. Taco Bell? I do like Mexican food, so I mean, why not? I got me two chicken chipotle melts. And they also have this unique drink that I've never seen on a menu anywhere before. A Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Let's try it out. Mmm. Why is this not on more menus? Oh my god, that is so delicious. Baja Blast. I have no idea how I'm going to be able to eat this without getting it all over myself. It looks messy. Oh my god. I asked for extra Chipotle sauce, but god dang. I am back in my home state of Tennessee, only momentarily. I believe it's about a three hour, four hour drive from here to the Kentucky state line. I am pulling into Nashville. I was craving something in Orlando, Florida that I never got around to getting. So I'm thinking I will fulfill that craving here in Nashville. Thai food. I wasn't able to load their menu, but I was like, do you have Penang curry? And they were like, we got you. So that was pretty cool. And then the curry came and uh, my opinion on it is 
the curry had an interesting taste to it. It had some southern twang to it. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was just different. <laughs> I have made my way to Kentucky. I don't know too much about the state, but I do like one of their senators. I'll let you guess which one it is because I don't know the second one. I only know one senator from Kentucky. I like what he stands for, and I like that he sticks it to Anthony Fauci. So anyways, I don't have too much history here in Kentucky other than I used to come through here a lot when I was dating a girl in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, because I had to come through Kentucky just to get to Toronto, of course, from Memphis, Tennessee. So uh, I've been to one concert here in Kentucky, in Louisville. I saw a death metal band called Nile. That was a really good concert, really good band, all that good stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna keep it moving. I need to get to Valparaiso, Indiana by tomorrow evening. No problem. Vamanos. Well, I just checked into my hotel here in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm about four hours out from Valparaiso, Indiana, so plenty of time to get there tomorrow. I miss the days when I could drive for an unlimited amount of hours and be fine. But lately, since around January, I think it was January, no, 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 February, I've been having chest problems right around here and uh, it really comes on when I'm sitting down for a long period of time, such as when I'm driving. So really and truly six hours is too much for me to be driving like this. But six hours right now is probably my maximum amount of time I'm willing to go without stopping for the night so here i am in louisville kentucky it's good to be here in louisville i am staying at the budgetel hotel here in the city i decided i would actually come and see the hotel for myself before booking it online and by the time i got here it wasn't available on the hotels.com so i just walked in i didn't care anymore because my chest was hurting so bad, I decided I, I didn't want to drive anymore. So this was my final destination of the night. So, and uh, the front of this hotel looks nice. Looks like a decent hotel. But uh, thank God I got a room in the front because once you start going in the back of this hotel, that's when the dodgy characters come out because I looped around and I saw them, so yeah. Um, I can't wait until I'm back to traveling internationally again beyond the United States and Mexico because, well, in the United States, I just feel like a bump on the log with these videos. Like, I gotta be entertained. I gotta be interested in what I'm filming to actually look like I'm interested and entertained, you know? And you can actually tell that in my Mexico videos, and you could really tell it once I, got, once I start going to new countries, I will not reveal what country number 30 will be until I am in the airport heading that way. So until that day comes, my lips are sealed. And if we have talked about where I'm going recently to some of my closest friends like Finn Del Mundo and Adam Francisco and my girlfriend Rose, 
Honestly, I don't even know where I'm going, so I don't think what I told you is where I'm going. So, I could be going there. I might not, who knows. Things are changing so rapidly with the ongoing and hopefully uh, in the past pandemic, but they're just gonna keep springing new variants on us until the end of time. They're using it as a way to demonetize my channel. I don't wanna get demonetized, so that's where I'm going to stop on that rant. But you can tell where I was about to go with that. So I think this is where I'm going to end this video. I hope you got some kind of entertainment value from it. My name is Zach, and I do like to backpack around the world. Tomorrow I will be heading to Valparaiso, Indiana. When I was first looking at going to this city, this small town actually, in Indiana, I watched one video and they were pronouncing it Valparaiso, and that's why I've been pronouncing it Valparaiso. But my stepdad is from that area, as well as uh, the app Apple Maps is pronouncing it Valparaiso. So I guess that's how it's actually pronounced. Maybe the Valparaiso in Chile is pronounced Valparaiso because it's Spanish. So maybe that's where the people who were visiting this town in Indiana was just pronouncing it the same way you would pronounce the town in the country of Chile. So maybe that's why. Um, this video is over. Thank you for watching. Adios from Louisville, Kentucky.